Kyle Bush has responded to his comments that he made against Christopher Bell following the race at Coda last week. If you recall, Kyle Bush said that Christopher Bell had one coming after Bell dumped him earlier in the race. We heard from Christopher Bell last week, but we did not really hear from Kyle Bush over some short snippets we got from the conversation he had with Christopher Bell after he confronted him following the race. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at John Trent Racing. So, so let's start with what we saw last week. This is from the official NASA car uh, account on x you can see we are looking at the back of kyle bush as he makes his way through the pit area to confront christopher bell let's take a look here you can see he's very upset gets right in his face can't really hear anything So you can hear there at the end, we we get some volume. He asks, have I ever wrecked you? Christopher Bell says no. Uh, and then Kyle Busch says, well, you have one coming. Uh, Bell would address this following the race. This, is, again, is over on NASCAR. We do get a look at his uh, dumping of Kyle Busch going into turn one there at Coda up the hill. And then we get to hear kind of Christopher Bell explain uh, that his conversation with Kyle Busch. Let's take a listen. I mean, yeah, obviously he's, he's very upset, which, you know, he ended up turned around and, you know, first off, I'm, I'm sorry to Larson in the five car. I got him earlier in the race and, uh, by no intention at all, I didn't mean to do that, but, you know, KB is frustrated about what happened in turn one. And, you know, I, I don't know, we were, they were too wide going in there. I, I have, I mean, yeah. So there you go. Obviously you get to hear a little bit of what Christopher Bell had to say there. And then you can see the wreck. It definitely appears that uh, Bell did indeed dump him right there. Really kind of took an aggressive line into the corner and uh, ran into the side of Kyle Busch's car. Well, now we have uh, Bob Hockers. He spoke with Christopher Bell ahead of the race at Richmond. Uh, he said that uh, the two talked him and Kyle Bush did indeed talk with each other on Monday after Bell left a message and Bush called him back. Let's listen to what Christopher Bell had to say about that phone call with Kyle Bush. And then we'll get to what Kyle Bush had to say. Replay from last week. And did you, I did, did yeah. you think any differently than what you thought? I mean, race? I don't know. I, I made contact with him and he spun out. So I understand why he's, He's upset, and you know we had a, a conversation on Monday, and I thought that uh, it went well. I actually I called him, and he didn't answer, and I thought that that was going to be the end of it, uh, and he called me back. So that was really cool that you know he had the respect towards me to call me back, and uh, he didn't have to do that. So um, you know it, it it's behind us, and uh, whatever happens moving forward, um, it is what it is. Most of the discussion on social, I don't know if you listen to it at all, I, I is, is, about, is about like the look on your face. Like people can tell if you were scared or just listening to him or just didn't want to show any reaction that might uh, spark a reaction from him. So I'm curious, like, if, like, are you even aware of like, you know, think, are you thinking to yourself, okay, just to sit here and listen and say nothing and try to move on? Is that the thought? Um... Yeah, so I'm trying to take myself back to that moment, but uh, there were a couple things going on. So number one, I felt pretty ill after the race. Uh, it was a, you know, I went green other than the stages. And normally I can get a, uh, a drink inside the car, like a, uh, I call it a scratch. It's like an additive to the water that makes me feel a lot better. So I didn't get the scratch in there. So I was feeling ill after the race. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, he came up to me and, and what am I going to say? Like I... I, I made contact with the dude. I hadn't seen a replay, so I didn't know exactly what went down. Um, and I knew that he had every right to be mad, but uh, you know, I just didn't want to say anything that was out of terms or without having more information of the, you know, the event. So that is what Christopher Bell had to say. He is describing the conversation he had with Kyle Bush as a good conversation. Uh, I think Kyle Bush might describe it as another way. Let's listen to what he had to say uh, to Bob Pockers here. Let's take a listen. Back. So I'm curious, uh, did, why did you want to talk to him more? Did you feel like it was productive? Um, yeah, I mean, just to give more of my side than than what I said on pit road, but to have him give a 
greater understanding into my objectives and what I got going on versus what he might think that he's got going on. And um, he, I think he understood that and then um, heard his side of it and <laughs> didn't really believe much into it when I didn't even give consideration to him making a move because he was four lengths back and then all of a sudden he was there, you know. So, like, I knew he was back there but too far to do anything and I got hit. So, it is what it is. So how do you race him forward? Do you race him any differently? Um, run him harder for a little bit until he concedes that, you know, he's sorry on the racetrack and then uh, get back to normal. Is there any added kind of frustration when that's a four lane you made someone you're familiar with when you, you kind of have a move like that done? Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. Um, you know, I when you, especially when they're the KBM alums, right? Like when you're racing against guys that have come through KBM and, You've helped them along the way, and you know you feel as though they're taking that extra ten percent rather than giving a little bit um, out of respect. But you know everybody's got their own race out there, and they try to do what they need to do. But um, obviously Christopher's in really good stuff at a really good place, and you know he needs to understand that. Did you assume from what we could tell, from what we could hear, that that the fact that it had happened a couple of years ago really. If you've forgiven him for that, you can't forgive him for somebody twice. Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. I mean, it wasn't, I wouldn't call it his fault the first time, but it was contact with him that made the issue two years ago at, at COTA and then, uh, and then last week. So there you go. Kyle Busch says he is going to race him harder now. I feel like that is a step back from my, oh, he's going to, he owes him one. Uh, so he's maybe tempering uh, how he is going to race Chris Rebell. But obviously uh, he could be playing some word games here um, saying that, yeah, I'm going to race him harder. Well, what does that actually mean? Could be that it still means that he's going to pay him back. Obviously he doesn't feel like Chris Rebell did apologize for uh, dumping him at Coda doesn't feel like uh, uh, Bell's uh, explanation of how that went was satisfactory to uh, what he felt in the camera. And then obviously, I guess what he saw on the replay, I do think it was kind of Bell's fault. He did dive it in there really hard. You can kind of see um, he almost like T-bones him, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, Bush's car is already making the turn and Bell kind of hits him uh, in the door uh, in order to get that car turned. So we'll see what happens between these two. Obviously, Bush uh, has is familiar with Christopher Bell. He went through um, KBM, Kyle Bush Motorsports, uh, obviously, and was a former teammate at Joe Gibbs Racing before Kyle Bush left uh, to race at Richard Childress Racing. So we'll see what happens moving forward. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really expect anything really to happen here at Richmond. We'll see. But uh, it does sound like Kyle Busch is kind of uh, toning things back a little bit. I don't know. I, I'd rather them see kind of, I'd rather see an actual rivalry. I don't know if Christopher Bell is the guy to make a rivalry with. Obviously, I think Kyle Busch is someone that you can start a rivalry with. Uh, I'd love to see him starting a rivalry with someone. I'd love to see a rivalry just in general in NASCAR. I just don't feel like there are any real rivalries in NASCAR. I mean, you look at some of the lower or not, I don't even say lower, but even look at some of these other other divisions, you can look at the Luke Soil, Late Mile Dirt Series, or World of, World of Outlaws. I do feel like there is a rivalry between Bobby Pierce, between Ricky Thornton Jr. Uh, people are interested to see who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna win when they're when they're racing against each other. When you get the, kind of those overlaps, uh, look at the Super Late Miles. You look at Bubba Pollard and Stephen Nassi. There is a huge rivalry between those two drivers, um, and it's great to see. And I think it drives excitement around the races that they compete in against each other. Uh, I mean, I go back to just uh, Dominion Raceway. Look at back at, I think, like 2019, there was a huge track rivalry between Tyler Hughes and Doug Barnes Jr. Uh, it obviously culminated in Doug Barnes Jr. cannonballing into uh, Tyler Hughes' windshield after the two uh, wrecked uh, at the beginning of a race. Um, in turn one and two at Dominion Raceway. Uh, Cars Tour, I do think there is a rivalry in the Cars Tour as well. Obviously, you don't really see a lot of mayhem happening there, but I do think there is a good rivalry between uh, Brennan Butterbean Queen and Carson Quaffle. And uh, I love to see that rivalry. We saw it kind of... Uh, reach a reach ahead at Dominion Raceway last year uh, when uh, the two they were banging each other and Bobby McCarty was like thank you so much drove underneath of them and claimed the win and uh, Quaffle faded I think to a fourth place finish after he got pushed up into 
to uh, the wall there. So love to see that. Love to see rivalries. Rivalries have always been part of the sport. And I do feel like there is um, there's one lacking. There really is not a major rivalry uh, in NASCAR right now, I guess maybe last year there was one between Dem- Denny Hamlin and Ross Chastain, but it seems like NASCAR has kind of nipped that in the bud and uh, ended it. So maybe we'll see something develop here between Kyle Busch and Christopher Bell, but based on their comments, it just does not seem like there is that's going to happen. But uh, I think that is to the detriment of the sport. I do think you want to see rivalries. Um, but just doesn't look like we're going to see one here. But let me know what you guys make of what both Chris Rebell and Kyle Busch had to say here. What do you expect to see from these drivers as they race against each other through the rest of the season? Do you think Kyle Busch uh, will indeed get payback against Christopher Bell sometime this year? Will it be uh, tomorrow at Richmond? Or will it be uh, maybe next year when they go back, if they go back to Coda? Let me know in the comments below.